Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you will like my videos and I hope you will subscribe. That way we will always be connected and you will always be informed on my future uploads that I have prepared for you. It really means a lot to me, so please support my channel. Anyway, the topic of today's video is fun video tag. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you my pet. <laughs> Um, most of you already know her, if you watched some of my uh, previous reviews, but for those who haven't seen her yet, this is the video where I show her to you and basically tell you a little bit more about our friendship. Um, this video is also in collaboration with Ashley from Just a Country Girl YouTube channel. I will leave the link to her YouTube channel down below in the description box. So let's start with the questions. I have them all written down and I have nine questions actually. First one is what is your pet's name? My pet's name is Lancia and it's like that famous Italian car Lancia. Um, obviously my hubby gave her the name. Um, I wanted to have her a different name. Um, there were a few names in the option that I was considering, but my hubby won after all. Um, he was so convinced that he wanted to give her this name, so I was like, okay, let's go with Lancia, even though that wasn't obviously my first choice. But she was a birthday gift to me from my hubby, um, and they wanted a dog so badly for so long, so at least uh, I could you know, gave him the possibility of choosing the name for her. So, Lancia, yeah, she's Lancia. Question. What kind of pet is it and what breed? Uh, she's quite small, actually. She has 10 kilos and she's no particular breed. She's mixed. Uh, so, yeah. Third question. How long uh, have you had your pet friend? Uh, we got her September past year and she had four months because she was born in May of 2015. So now it's been um, four, five months that I've had her. And uh, yeah, it's been quite an adventure, let me tell you, really. Fourth question is how did you get your pet? Well, um, as I said, I wanted a dog for so many years. Growing up, I always had cats and dogs and all sorts of animals, basically. Um, so now I was living here in Italy and I really, really wanted to have a pet friend. Um, my hubby's cat died because she was so old. She was more than 20 years old. So we were without any pet and I was always asking my hubby for a dog. And finally he decided to give me uh, my birthday present actually, but it was late birthday present because my birthday is in June and she arrived in September. So yeah, uh, basically uh, our friends uh, that live in the mountain area of Italy had these um, puppies and uh, we saw a picture on Facebook and my hubby called his friend and said, can you just leave one for me? and uh, that way basically she was reserved for us. Fifth question, how old is your pet? Well, she was born in May 2015. Yeah, so she's basically nine months old now. Time flies by really, really quickly. <laughs> she's practically an adult already. Sixth question, what are some quirky uh, things about your pet's personality? Well, she has got um, the cutest personality ever. Like, she's way too kind, uh, seriously, with everybody, even with the people she doesn't even know. When she sees a neighbor or she sees somebody passing on the street, like, <laughs> unknown person, she will get all excited. She will start, like, jumping around and she just wants to meet and greet everybody. So that's very unusual. I mean, she's very uh, friendly and very kind and very just loving, you know. That's, uh, that's her personality. And also she's very smart because she actually understands a lot and she is bilingual because um, I have certain commands that she understands in Croatian language and some commands that she understands in Italian. So whenever people ask me, is she Italian or Croatian? Uh, what does she speak? I'm like, she knows both languages. <laughs> 
Seven question, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? I mean, I wanted to have a dog for such a long time. I was dreaming about it. Yeah, I would be like harassing my husband, uh, wanting to get this pet. I was dreaming of this very loving relationship and all. But to be completely honest with you, it was very hard. Um, it was really an adjustment and I remember it wasn't so hard when I was a kid or when I was a teenager. It was different, you know. Um, this time, you know, getting used to her being around was very difficult to me. Uh, most of all because uh, she wasn't um, used to doing all her needs outside. So uh, she lived for four months in a barn with other puppies, with her uh, mom and brothers and sisters. So she was basically used on doing her needs whenever, wherever. And uh, that's something I was ready to deal with and, you know, just teach her, um, you know, when and where she needs to do her needs. But uh, after a couple of months, it got really tiring. You know, I was prepared to wake up the first night because she did everything in our living room. So to wake up and clean. Um, it was like having a little baby, I don't know. And... Uh, after a couple of months that she still wasn't uh, learning, um, it was just very, very tiring for me. Um, sometimes it would happen uh, that I would clean like everything, wash the entire house, floors and everything, and then she would do her needs, like in that moment. So I had to do it all over again. And it was very time consuming between walking with her, you know, every day, uh, between feeding her and cleaning after her and doing, you know, my everyday things, you know, getting on with my life, I was just overwhelmed with that. And, um, you know, honestly, I'm saying how I felt. Um, regardless of that, of course, she gives you a lot of love. And even when you're angry at her, like the next minute, she will be so loving and just so 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 emotional that you just can't stay uh, angry <laughs> for a long time that's just impossible so she really gives you unconditional love um, and that's a fact so, honestly at first it was quite an adjustment uh, i wasn't expecting it to be so hard i don't know what came into me but i was kind of regretting it i'm so sorry to say that but i was kind of regretting it and um, i feel kind of ashamed to say that but I just want to, to be honest and ask you if you had any similar issues. It was just so hard, you know, um, getting her to understand uh, when is her time to go outside and do her needs, you know. Um, it was just very, very hard. <laughs> yeah. Eighth question is, what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? Um, I love going for a walk with her when outside is beautiful sunny day. Uh, because we live here in the countryside and um, we have a lot of fields and a lot of green and lots of places where we can actually go by foot. So that's amazing. I just love to take her out for a walk when outside it's a beautiful sunny day. I just enjoy that because I have a company and she enjoys it and I'm doing something really healthy for myself as well. So that's definitely uh, my favorite uh, time with her. Also, uh, when I drop her uh, a bone or a cord or uh, her toy, so she brings it to me and uh, when she initiates it, when she comes with um, this little toy in her mouth and she wants to play, that's also very cute. So I really love those moments. And ninth and last question is, uh, what are the nicknames that you call your pet? Um, I like to call her Lanchic which is like a diminutive of Lancia. Um, it's like little Lancia. Uh, but also uh, Lancic in Croatian means um, like a necklace. <laughs> That's how I like to call her. That's her nickname basically. Lancic, Pasic, uh, Curica, which means uh, little girl. Um, yeah, <laughs> those are basically the nicknames that I call her. Repic. Repic, which means like a little tail. <laughs> hey 
guys, those were the questions. I hope you enjoy this tag. I hope it was interesting. Um, yeah, obviously I wanted to show Lancia to you, but she is resting now. She's sleeping, so I don't want to call her, but I will try to film her for you. So. I will still be able to insert her in this video. Also, I want to invite you to check out uh, Ashley's video. And she has got this beautiful uh, dog. Uh, it's mixed uh, between Boxer and Labrador. And I actually had Boxer when I was a teenager. Um, her dog is just so precious. So go ahead and check out her video too. I would love for you guys to share with me your experiences um, of having a dog. Was she's it always sleeping. easy for you or were you okay. also struggling with some moments um, that were really, Lancia. really difficult? Um, because uh, I was like Lancia. afraid that uh, I am Lancia. like the only one who is struggling Lancia. with these feelings inside of me. Lancia. But I was just so fed up with always having to clean. Oh, and. Uh, I was really, really worried that this is how my life is going to be on a daily basis now. So I was kind of freaking out. Anyway, things are getting much better now. She is way more aware of things. So I am very uh, grateful and appreciative for that. Um, the only advice that I can give you uh, if you are a new owner of a pet, of a dog, is to have a lot of patience and to really communicate with your dog because um, um, they really understand, um, they really understand, so communicate with them. Okay guys, that's it, a big kiss from Italy, from the beautiful city of Venice, and I'll talk to you soon in my next video. Ciao!